Hey guys, Gingerhead here, and today we are playing Escaping the Prison. It's a little point and click game, web browser game, obviously, and the whole point is to, well, escape. Duh. Hmm? What? Okay, launcher. Well, that was. Huh. Huh. Oops. Mmm. Nail file? Ah. Cell door or window? Uh, let's go with the window. That'd be too easy. I clicked it. Hmm? I clicked it. I clicked it. I clicked it. I swear. I clicked it. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that coming. Hmm? This is hard. I'm putting my crush over here. <laughs> Are you done? Throwing people at me? He's escaping. He's escaping. Use this. Chair. Go this way. Do not go down that way. Do not do it. Hmm. Rope, parachute, jetpack, or plungers. Huh. That would be boring. That would be fun. That would be scary. That would also be scary. Let's try jet back. <laughs> Fail! It didn't let me read it though, which sucks. Oh no. Oh, no. Look, you're back. Are you able to operate one? Okay, so let's try plungers. Wow, that's actually working. It's gonna fall. He's gonna fall. There's no way. Let's try for a different ending. That was hecka short. Let's see what happens to teleporter. Hmm. Oh no. Oh man. What happens to the cell phone? Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the armored van, but suddenly <laughs> spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. No. Ah. Okay, let's do this one then. No. Present. Take that! What is this? It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? Well, I... <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me try... This is no time for jokes. <sighs> I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Guilty. I'm not a lawyer at all. 
Let's try the doctor's doctor's exam. Defendant done after arrest. Defendant suffered many bruises and cuts. Let's. Do, I don't know Take what that. this is gonna do. I'm honestly what just clicking. What is this? That's just all I'm doing. It's right evidence. Now. And how exactly does this prove anything? Well, I. <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Good day. Cause if I honestly, if I would have just quit after um the first time around, it'd been like Take a two-minute video and it'd been ridiculous. What is this? It's evidence. So I'm just gonna and continue to click exactly through and see what anything? happens. See if we can get different endings. Well, see I... what happens when we click everything. <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Definitely a very random Wednesday video. Take that. Is is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then how did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? What? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. What are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the other. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's coming back to haunt him now. You guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! He's upset. Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Oh wow, thought they were going to be a stick in the mud and say guilty. Let's see what happens when we do the drink. Like I said, this is going to be a very random Wednesday video. But why would they be called random Wednesday if they were random, right? What? What? I need me some of this stuff. I need some of these, the things you could do with this drink. It'd be so much fun to mess with people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Side effects include nausea, headaches, rapid heartbeat, and possibilities of stroke and or heart attack. Um, well that, hmm, that's good to know. Yeah, I don't even know. Like we tried everything but the drill. <laughs> Let's try. Move the blue slider to the right and you become okay. You mean see through for all you uneducated folks as you want. Not only that, but you're but more but more opaque you get. That's a typo. Whatever. Uh someone explain the bubble. Think something like that would come up in the beta testing. 
what happens to the crowbar. Whoa. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you gonna be clicking buttons and crap? Oh. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Get ready. For what? For what? For what? For what? What am I doing? Oh. <laughs> Oops. Alright, it's been about 11, 12 minutes, so I think we're gonna leave this where it is for fail count eight yeah we know I fail I fail at everything but that's a random Wednesday video for you it's very random very weird very ginger I hope you guys enjoyed this and see you in the next one bye